Hello and welcome to this episode of a network tutorial for beginners. In today's session, I'll talk about the routers in a network and how they are useful in network environment. As you can see, in this scenario, we've got two different networks. The yellow network here on the left side is uh, one switch connected to PC to the switch and the network address range is 192.168.0.0 and subnet mask is slash 24 or 255.255.255.0 in the other hand we've got these green networks almost similar configuration one laptop and one PC are connected to the switch and the network address range is 192.168.1.0 24 as you can see these two networks are different and the machines on these networks are unable to communicate to each other. Even I connect these two switch together. Let's uh, test this and by choosing the copper crossover cable we want to connect this switch from the fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 to the other switch on the other side fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 waiting to these switch or start to communicate to each other and I'm going to this laptop for doing my testing first of all click on the laptop go to the desktop and if you don't know how to you are not familiar with this you can go and visit our previous tutorial go to the command prompt and I'm using the IP config command to see my current configuration of IP address and as you can see it's a 192.168.1.10 let's do the ping our other machine in our network 168.1.11 by this command and press enter as you can see we've got the reply from the other machine to the network and we try with the packet tracer internal ping mechanism and you can see this is a successful so let's ping the other side of the network uh, from the green zone to the yellow zone I go back to the, my laptops and this time I'm trying to ping the other machine let's check the IP address for the other side I bring on my mouse over this PC and as you can see the IP address of this machine is 192.168.0.10 so let's ping it from the other side ping 192.168.0.10 and nope uh, we don't have any reply from the other side request timeout yes still waiting and nothing request timeout okay so as you can see we don't have any communication from this side of the network to the other side in this case we need another device which is called routers. The routers are help us to connect different network together and to do that I go to the router tab here choose the one router PT generic router bring it on a working environment and first of all I disconnect these two switch together by choosing this delete item and now it's disconnected so let's connect our router to our switches to do that, we are going to Connections tab, and this time we choose the straight through copper cable. Connect to the router first, Ethernet 0 slash 0 to the switch 0, plus Ethernet port, and do the same thing for the other side of the network, plus Ethernet 1 slash 0 to the switch port, plus Ethernet 0 slash 1, no different, whatever port you, you can choose. In this scenario no different and as you can see these red dots are shows that the connection is not complete we need to do the configuration on our router okay to configuration the device like router in the packet tracer you just need to click on them go to the router CLI as you can see it's like a real router load the iOS from the flash to the RAM and it's ready to configuration. In real world, you should connect your PC or laptop or whatever device you want to configure your router with the console cable, which is usually is a blue cable, and connect to the 
your router and uh, usually the serial port of your device nowadays is the, you can see any serial port on the machines and there is some uh, adapters to change your USB cable to the serial port and use them to connect to your router and setting up your router when the router is loading and up it's asked you for the um, configuration dialog wizard and it's a, like a step by step wizard to config do the configuration on the router in this scenario we don't need to use this wizard and choose no 99.99 percent .99 you choose no on uh, any routers and you do the configuration by yourself so the router is ready and want to press return to uh, start okay i'll press the enter and as you remember from the switch lessons iOS, we are in a user mode. We can't do too much things here. So we enable our router by enabling command and we are in a privilege mode. Uh, I want to check the IP configuration on our interface. So, so I choose the show IP interface free and enter and you can see these are the interface which are installed on my router to fast Ethernet, to serial port, or usually used for WAN links, and to fast Ethernet, uh, which are the fast Ethernet for the fiber. I want to do the configuration on my first interface, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. To do that, first of all, we have to go to the config mode, config D, as you remember, con T, and press enter. We are in a uh, config mode and I should go to the interface so I select interface FA0 slash 0 and as you can see I am in interface mode configuration and I use the IP question mark and you can see I can do these commands but I want to just set the IP address I choose the address here okay question mark now I need the IP address I set on the this port bus this is my fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 so I need 192.168.0.1 with the subnet mask now 255.255.255.0 and we enable our interface by no shot as, as you can see the router log back as a line protocol on interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 changes status to up and I do the same thing for the other interface interface fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 this time set the IP address on the interface 192.168 and because of the this belongs to the this side of the network as, as you can see this interface is now up okay we choose the 192.168.1.1 with the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 I use this question mark because I want to show you that you can use it whenever you want when you forget the iOS command and this guide you which IP you can choose and no shot here and now if I back to the ooh, okay and if I show IP interface brief now you can see both the status, physical and uh, layer 2 protocol are up in fast Ethernet uh, 0 slash 0 and 1 slash 0. Okay, so now our router is ready and you can see this green circle is coming up and the connection is enabled. But still our machines are unable to communicate to each other. In the part 2 of this video, I'll show you how to set your machine in two networks to communicate to each other. Thank you for watching and please leave your comments and watch our, our part 2 of network tutorial number 3 for beginners. Thank you very much.